After we have learned how to make the, our state global in all the app, now we need to change our state. For example, we want to log in. If we press here, there is nothing happen. We cannot log in. We want to change the global state. How to do that? To do that, we need two things. First, an action. And second is reduce action as I have said before is a JavaScript object that contains the information we need those information to update our state and the reducer is a JavaScript function and this function is responsible for updating the state in our store so now let's create our action inside SRC inside store let's create file called user actions .ts. Now let's export const login action equals to we're gonna return an object. This object must contain two things the type and the payload. The type is the name of the action. For example, if you want to sign in, we're gonna create an action with with the type sign in if we want to create a logout or sign out action the name or the type of that action is going to be sign out okay so now let's add a type and make it log login and the payload is going to be true okay now that's our first action that allow us to log in maybe someone wonder and tell me you lied to me because you you have said an action is a JavaScript object, but that's not a JavaScript object. It's a, it's a JavaScript function. That is a function. I'm going to tell you, I didn't lie. This function called action creator, and our action is that object. So now you have to know the difference between action creator and the action. An action in Redux is a, is a plain JavaScript object. That object is the action, and this function is an action creator that return our action okay let's copy that function and create another one called it logged out logout action and this is gonna be the type is gonna be logout and the payload is gonna be false why we put here the payload true and the payload false because in our store here the initial state is sign in is false that means he is logged out. When we want him to log in, we're gonna pass that payload and make it true and make that state true. And this state is the global state. This state is the global state. For example, if we make that true, now we have logged in here and here and here. And this name is Superman, we can make it just super. He is super here and here and okay. So now that's our global state and we want to update it using an action. So we put here true and we put here false to make that is sign in true and false. Okay. The third action is to update the username. So let's copy that function like that and paste it here and rename it with change name action and the payload is gonna be user name and let's put it in our params as a string this string keyword is a typescript to refer that username is a string we can remove it and nothing will happen but typescript is gonna complain about that because we need to put the type of that username I don't want you to get confused but don't worry about that keyword okay so now we have created our three actions, a login action, a logout action, and change name actions. Now to update our state in store, we need a last thing. We need reducers. And in next lesson, we're going to create our reducers to take those actions and update the state depend on the payload that we provide. For example, when we want to log in, we're going to pass a payload with true. When we want to log out, we're going to pass a false. When we want to change the name, we're gonna pass the, the username, the new username, and it's a string, we're gonna pass it to the reducer. Because the reducer is a JavaScript function, is responsible to update our state inside that store.
thanks for watching and i hope you understand me and if you like that video please hit the like button thanks for watching